According to an article published in the United Kingdom, the number of dementia deaths from people living at home rose by 79% during the pandemic. My mother was diagnosed with vascular dementia and Alzheimer's disease on January of 2020 at the age of 80. This is her story. Hi, this is Ave from Dementia Ninja. The Office of National Statistics revealed that in England, more people died at home from dementia than the average recorded over the past five years. Overall, after being diagnosed with dementia, women live slightly longer than men. Although, being married, living at home, and the degree of mental decline were not found to have a big impact on survival. Researcher Dr. Murne Downs indicated that people with dementia live longer. And yet, there is an assumption that if someone does not know where they are, then they have no other capacity for thinking and feeling. A proven fact is that people with dementia continue to think and to laugh and to feel the rain on their faces and to try to make sense of their world. At the end of this video, I will give you some pointers on what to do when your loved one has late stage dementia. Dementia is an umbrella term that involves debilitation and impairment of cognitive abilities in memory, language, emotional, and physical capabilities. Over time, dementia will worsen and there is no available cure for this disease. The most common type of dementia is Alzheimer's disease. Other types include vascular dementia, Lewy body dementia, frontotemporal dementia, and other types related to Parkinson's disease or other medical conditions. It is not unusual to have a mixed form of dementia. While death is a difficult concept to wrap your head around and to accept, knowing and preparing emotionally may well benefit the carer and the family of patients with late-stage dementia. A patient in late-stage dementia is at risk to a number of medical complications like infection in the urinary tract or pneumonia. While a person with late-stage dementia may technically die from an infection or other medical complication, it is their severe dementia that predisposed them to that complication and made them too weak to fight it off. Sir Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill, born of a wealthy and aristocratic family, was the Prime Minister of United Kingdom from 1940 to 1945 and from 1951 to 1955. Of mixed English and American parentage, he was also known for his military career, was a historian, painter, and writer, considered as one of the 20th century most significant figures, he resigned as Prime Minister in 1955 and suffered multi-infarct mini-strokes which is associated with a progressive and mild dementia. He received a Nobel Prize in Literature and died of a stroke on January 1965 at the age of 90. Painter Norman Rockwell, born Norman Percival Rockwell, was an American painter and illustrator. He produced more than 4,000 original works during his lifetime. Amongst his works was the painting The Problem We All Live, featured in the White House from July to October of 2011 during the Obama presidency. He died in 1978 at the age of 84 from an illness related to Alzheimer's disease. Of Spanish and Irish English origin, Rita Hayworth, born Margarita Carmen Cancino, started as a dancer at the age of 13. Amongst her many films, she is best remembered in her portrayal as Hilda and the Lady from Shanghai. 
she was diagnosed at 50 years old with early onset of Alzheimer's disease. She was in semi-coma from 1987 and died months later at the age of 68. American professional boxer Sugar Ray Robinson, born Walker Smith Jr., was inducted in the International Boxing Hall of Fame. The youngest of three children, he is widely regarded as one of the greatest boxers of all times. He acted in various films before being diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease and passed away in 1989 at the age of 67. Baron James Harold Wilson was United Kingdom's Prime Minister on two occasions, from October 1964 to June 1970 and again from March 1974 to April 1976. He was one of the youngest Oxford dons of the century and later on became an economic history lecturer and research fellow. In 1976, he resigned from office and during this time, he might already have the first stages of early onset Alzheimer's disease. He died in 1995 at the age of 79 from colon cancer and Alzheimer's disease. American actor Estelle Getty, born Estelle Anacleta Cher, is best remembered as the funny and feisty old lady Sofia Petrillo in the comedy series The Golden Girls from 1985 to 1992. She was part of the film Tootsie, played by Dustin Hoffman and Mask, led by singer Cher. She was diagnosed with Lewy body dementia and died in 1998, three days after her 85th birthday. Actor Charles Bronson, born Charles Dennis Buczynski, was the 11th child out of 15 siblings of a Roman Catholic family of Lithuanian descent. Besides English, he could also speak Lithuanian, Russian, and Greek. When Bronson was 10 years old, his father died and he went to work in the coal mines, first in the mining office and then in the mine to financially help his family, where he had to work double shifts to earn $1 a week. At the height of his fame in the early 1970s, he was the world's number one box office attraction, commanding $1 million per film. Bronson's health deteriorated in his later years and he retired from acting after undergoing hip replacement surgery in 1998. Bronson died at age 81 on August 30, 2003 after battling Alzheimer's disease. The 40th President of the United States from 1981 to 1989, Ronald Wilson Reagan was an American politician Although prior to his presidency, he was a Hollywood actor and union leader. He was the 33rd governor of California from 1967 to 1975. He was the first divorced person to assume the nation's highest office. Reagan campaigned vigorously to restore organized prayer to the schools. He appointed the first female associate justice of the Supreme Court. He survived an assassination attempt, and in 1994, at the age of 83, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, although his son said he had suspected early signs of his father's dementia prior to his diagnosis. Regan died of pneumonia, complicated by Alzheimer's disease, in 2004. Born John Charles Carter, Charlton Heston was best known as the leading actor in the epic films Planet of the Apes, Ten Commandments, and Ben-Hur. In the 1950s and 1960s, he was one of a handful of Hollywood actors to speak openly against racism and was an active supporter of the civil rights movement. Heston was a five-term president of the National Rifle Association. He had a hip replacement was diagnosed with prostate cancer and had been treated for alcoholism. During 2002, he publicly announced via tape message that he had been diagnosed with symptoms consistent with Alzheimer's disease. Heston died in 2008 due to pneumonia.
So here are some pointers for late stage dementia planning. As early as possible, try to communicate with a patient and however upsetting it may be, plan to ensure that the patient's needs are met at the end of their life. Should the patient doesn't feel ready to think about the future, try to get to know their values, their wishes, and their beliefs should the time comes and decisions need to be made on their behalf. When possible, have the patient sign a lasting power of attorney or an advanced decision which will aid your appointed attorney from agreeing to treatment. This legal document will have to be registered in the office of the public guardian for it to be valid. Although advanced dementia is incurable and will ultimately result in death, it is important to note that you can still provide comfort to your loved ones and play an active role in their care.